and welcome to Computer Hacking 101. I'm Chris. Today we are going to show you how to install SyncThing on Linux. As always, I have detailed instructions on the website which is linked in the description. I will be copying the commands off my website. The first thing we need to do is add SyncThing repo to our APT sources. Then we just type our sudo password. And that's done. The second thing we just do is make sure cur installed. We need to do sudo apt install curl. It'll take a couple seconds to install. You hit the yes. Now it's installed. The next step we need to do is add the same thing to the BGPs. We do that by running the curl command. After that's done, we need to update our database. So do sudo apt update. After that's complete, we can just finally install a sync thing. Do sudo apt install sync thing. You press enter. The next step after we get something installed is to enable it to run at startup. By doing, by doing this, we do sudo systemctl enable same thing at your username dot service. And after that, we can start for our first time. We do sudo systemctl start same thing at your username dot service. Now it's started. The last three steps is, are only need if you want to connect to the SyncThing server on another computer or network. We need to edit our SyncThing config file by using, our, using your favorite editor. I'm going to use Python for the example. We need to find the 127.0.0.1. change it to 0 .0 0 .0. .0. .0. .0. .0. .0. .0. Let me save the file. Then we do restart the same thing. Now that we got same thing installed, let's get it set up. You can do that in the following video. If you need to Install it on Windows or Android. You can see how to do that in the playlist.